For the second year running the IFSC, lead competitors are back in the charming Swiss village of Vilar with its fresh mountain air, beautiful buildings and breathtaking scenery. Competition got underway this morning on our wonderfully positioned wall under a baking hot sun. In the qualifying round there are two routes for the men and two for the women and the climbers are all trying to claim one of the 26 places in tomorrow's semi-final. Team Switzerland had a decent day at their home event with Catherine Chung, Alina Ring, Michelle Hulliger and Anne-Sophie Collar all through in the women's event and Team France did even better with six women through. Many observers were also keen to see how young Italian climber Laura Rigora got on at her first ever World Cup. If she was phased by the occasion, she didn't let on, climbing brilliantly to go through in joint fifth. Elsewhere, many of the familiar names from previous seasons were through, with the Austrian contingents of Hannah Schubert, Katharina Posch, Jesse Piltz and Yulia Pfizer all through, as well as Raisa Ota of Japan and Evgenia Kazbikova of Ukraine. The top four positions in today's round had a very familiar feel with Korean Jane Kim climbing as smoothly and precisely as ever and easing into the semis with minimal fuss. She was third here last year and looks in superb form this time around. Anak Verhoeven was second here in 2016 and comes into Vilar 2017 with real momentum. She won the last World Cup of last season and just last weekend was crowned European champion. I topped the first route in the second one. I uh, hesitated a bit in the middle with a 360, uh, which wasn't that hard in the end, but I shouldn't have hesitated. <laughs> and then the rest of the route was fine as well. I just fell one move before the top. I've been training a lot the last six months. Um, yeah, I went to Spain for a little bit of rock climbing and then to France as well uh, for 10 days, but the rest of the time was just training indoors. I'm so grateful that I got to be European champion. It's, it's amazing. Like, um, of course, that was my goal, but you never know. It's so hard. Uh, there's a stress and the new routes. It's always different. So I was so thankful when I came down and I, and I knew I had won the competition. Mina Markovic is a climber used to winning. She's been competing in World Cups since 2004 and has been extraordinarily successful, winning 20 of them. She hasn't won one since 2015 though and is determined to change that this weekend. Uh, yeah, during the winter I started to prepare at the beginning of the year, but uh, mostly I prepare with the power and bouldering like to the almost end of April and then I started to add some endurance, so um, yeah, on European Championship it went good, good uh, but still I know that uh, I can improve my shape to be better. Uh, yeah, I have some a little problems with the both elbows, but it is going pretty okay. Uh, so yeah, first, first route is behind me, so it wasn't bad, it wasn't good either, but uh, I'm looking forward to the next one. Last year's dominant force Janja Garmbrecht is also safely through and the semis tomorrow look to be the tightest we've seen for several years. Over in the men's competition, Team France also had an excellent day in the Swiss sunshine. Three of their male climbers, namely recently crowned European champion Romain de Grange, Vilar 2016 bronze medalist Thomas Johannes, and 18-year-old now Monchois, all went through and have the chance to reach the final tomorrow morning. In total, across both the men's and women's events, seven of the 52 Vilar semi-finalists are French. Although not the dominant force they are in bouldering, the Japanese team are also handy at lead and three of their male athletes, including Kokora Fuji, made it through to the semis. The ever-relaxed Sean Bailey of the USA, fresh from making semis in the Vail Boulder World Cup, will join them and have the chance to match or even improve on his fourth place here last year.
Last year's overall World Cup winner Domin Skofic is also through. Um, yeah, my goals are actually to come back in the shape over the season. I'm, I'm actually planning to do all the World Cups. Uh, maybe if it's going to go bad, I'm gonna skip the China comps. But planning to do all and uh, yeah, just like get in as many finals as possible and enjoy there because I enjoy climbing in finals so much. I, I don't even care what happens. I just like want to enjoy the route in the final and that's it. One of the more interesting climbers to watch today was Alexei Rubsov, who made it to semis in 13th place. It is my second uh, lead World Cup competition ever and today I feel good. I made uh, already one route. I'm not finished it, but I feel strong and now I'm in good position. I'm really surprised about it uh, because I made uh, only bouldering mostly, but I feel good shape and uh, if you feel good shape you can do any climbing lead and boulder. So I hope to be in the game still tomorrow. Ah, I really like this wall. Uh, last year I saw this competition on video and uh, decided uh, that this wall is really good for me. It's not so long and boulder roads, so this year I come here. I like this place, really beautiful. We'll be live at the semi-finals at 10am local time. The finals will follow at 8pm.